couple things we'll hit before we dive into season four is cringiest moments, of course. Oh. Since we didn't have any coverage one through three, we think we, we need to do our due diligence and walk yes. through some of this shit. So cringiest moments, favorite moments, top three character rankings, and then like a quote or two we'll throw out there. But we can start with cringiest if we want, because yeah. I have a few. I always cheat and come up with 80 when we're only supposed to come up with one. So if you guys <laughs> want to go first and so I don't take yours, that'll be... Go ahead, Kai, if you have one off the top. Um, I feel like the first one I can think of is just Kendall rapping at the 50th fucking anniversary celebration. <laughs> like, he got up there and I just was like, I think I said out loud, oh my God, he is really about to do this right now. <laughs> so that's See, Kendall is that's full of them. In my favorite moments, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the show, right? It's just, yeah. you were like, this fucking idiot like yeah. what now so Kendall is such an interesting character because he is kind of the most well him and Shiv both are smart competent people Kendall doesn't know what to do with himself he's literally just like just drives himself into the worst possible situations ever but I had Kendall's rap in my favorite moments as well because to me maybe for the crowd it was cringy but I was like if someone got up and rapped about me I'd be like that's the best gift you could have ever given me that's but fair. Juxt like juxtaposing that to season three at his birthday party when he wants to when he wants to sing a song and be put, put up on a cross. That is like, how did, did we get here? What Dude, the fuck? He is, he's just wild guy. He really is wild guy. Do you have another cringy or is that yours? Um, I mean, I, I probably have more, but I'll, I'll do that one for now. And then I'm sure okay. when you two are talking, I'll come up with an honorable mention or two. I mean, there's so many, obviously. It's like whenever Roman speaks, that's just a blanket statement. Very it's a hor horrific car crash that we're watching slowly. But I wrote down, um, well, I thought about a lot about Shiv and Tom. But I was like, okay, where does it really begin <laughs> to get horrible for him? And their wedding night, their fucking wedding oh night. And she's God. like, oh, my God, hey, open a relationship. And he's like, what is happening? And I'm like, that's his villain, villain origin story, to be sure. And it just really shows you how broken and horrible Shiv is and yes. I was just like I can't believe she you just always feel like I can't believe she's doing this to him right or doing this as a person yeah. to another human being that she loves it's crazy yeah and I just want to ref preface this by saying me and Alex are Shiv apologists on in this house yes, we are. are Shiv Shiv Roy apologists and I, I will not be taking any questions but I will say when Tom in the season two finale, they're on the beach by themselves. And he says that I'm going to butcher the line, but he says something like, I I'm wondering if the sad I will be without you is going to be better than the sad I am with you. And I'm like, oh, my boy, yeah. my boy. Yeah, seriously. That was um, great. And I, I just, I, yeah. and just, I guess to bounce off of that kind of general like time frame, just a classic Tom quote before that is just because <laughs> they're actually trying to do the open relationship together with the uh i guess like the maid or whatever that's on the yacht and he's like i haven't done a stadium crowd before <laughs> <laughs> like he is he is the character that i have just gone so like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth but he's just when he because when he's good and he hits he is just the star of the tv show it's so funny i love that fucking guy i can think of like five cringy tom moments off the top of my head water oh, yeah. bottles the water bottles, the fucking tickle fight with Greg. Like, I, I'm, there's a lot with him and Greg. I know. 